According to Tesla's CEO, Elon Musk, the company has been trying to overcome the global chip shortage by rewriting the software of its EVs to make it compatible with alternative computer chips. The semiconductor crisis has hit a diverse array of industries across the world, as unprecedented amounts of work, shopping, life, and socializing went digital, with the recent pandemic driving everyone inside. The demand for electronics soared high, and the semiconductors contained in these electronics also went through the roof. The overnight increase in demand brought about by a concoction of different factors, such as the trade war between the US and China, has caused a major headache for a huge swath of economic sectors as more and more products become smart and therefore reliant on the overloaded computer chip industry. One of the hardest hit sectors was the auto industry at a time when second-hand automobiles have become more expensive since new cars just aren't available. Given that a modern car can only use over 3,000 chips in its production, the automobile industry, therefore, just makes a fraction of overall semiconductor demand. As a consequence, computer chip makers are prioritizing big fish such as computer graphic cards, smartphones, video games, gaming consoles, and other consumer electronic gadgets, leaving the automotive industry with a limited supply of these components. As the global semiconductor shortage continues to wreak havoc, some of the United States' biggest automakers are taking big hits to their bottom lines when their revenues should be skyrocketing due to solid demand for new cars. For instance, Ford, which is the country's second largest car manufacturer by volume, saw a 50% reduction in profit in the last quarter of 2021. The company recently notified Mac E pre-orders about a six-week delay in delivery times, blaming the delay on the global semiconductor shortages. General Motors, on the other hand, is currently shutting down some of its production lines that build and assemble pickup trucks. The production lines had been operational for a matter of weeks following a July shutdown, which was also caused by the same semiconductor shortages that are plaguing a number of industries right now. Simultaneously, BMW has temporarily shut down its assembly lines, cutting the production by tens of thousands of cars. If regular, traditional automakers are suffering from this logistics and manufacturing nightmare, what is in store for electric automakers like Tesla, which seems to be one step ahead compared to OEMs regarding chips? Well, there is an explanation for that, as revealed by Tesla in its second quarter 2021 earnings update letter. According to Mr. Musk, the company has been trying to overcome the global chip shortage by rewriting the software of its EVs to make it more compatible with some alternative computer chips. Considering the Tesla cars are among the most microchip hungry, the automaker designed its own computer chip to accommodate the needs of its autonomous software. As per Mr. Musk, the development of new components helped Tesla to circumvent the severely overloaded semiconductor industry problems. Our team has demonstrated an unparalleled ability to react quickly and mitigate disruptions to manufacturing caused by semiconductor shortages. Our electrical and firmware engineering teams remain hard at work designing, developing and validating 19 new variants of controllers in response to ongoing semiconductor shortages, Tesla wrote in its second quarter 2021 earnings update letter. In the report, the company admitted that it could avoid the challenges of the global shortage by shifting to microcontrollers instead of semiconductors. The company has designed, developed and validated 19 new controllers, along with firmware for chips, which has steered the Silicon Valley-based EV maker far away from the computer chip supply issues. In fact, Tesla temporarily shut down its Fremont factory in Northern California for three days. Tesla boss Elon Musk noted that the brief holdup at the facility was caused by parts shortages, but never gave specific details on which components were to blame for the stoppage. Tesla's having designed, developed, and validated 19 new controllers has also helped to steer the company far away from the semiconductor shortages that has cut the production across several car manufacturers. In fact, the American automaker Tesla has been able to continue growing with only a few delivery delays for some models. 
Despite the global shortage of semiconductors and other supply chain challenges, Tesla said its highly talented and competent team of engineers and software experts could help keep the production lines running to full capacity. While we saw ongoing semiconductor supply challenges in the second quarter, we were able to further grow our production, the automaker noted in its report. In the second quarter of 2021, the same where Ford's profits were reduced by 50%, Tesla produced and delivered over 200,000 vehicles, which helped the company to surpass Wall Street estimates, boasting $11.958 billion in revenue, $1.3 billion in profitability, a free cash flow of $619 million, and non-GAAP earnings per share of $1.45 billion. Regardless of the success during the supply chain issues, CEO Elon Musk indicated that his car company's future growth would stay reliant on a long-lasting solution to the semiconductor shortages. In addition to software rewrites, the company still depends on a wide variety of computer chips to produce its electric cars. According to Mr. Musk, the global semiconductor shortage situation remains quite serious. For the better part of this year, the company's growth rate is anticipated to be affected by the slowest part in the supply chain. Recently, President Biden's administration formed a special team to invest a total of $52 billion and boost the semiconductor research and production. This should help deter the chip shortage from affecting the American automakers. While the CHIPS Act is still awaiting congressional approval, it is expected to establish incentives to boost semiconductor manufacturing, research and development, as well as supply chain security in the region. There is a need to incentivize the manufacturing of chips in America, and so we are very focused on putting the pieces in place so that can happen, Gina Raimondo, U.S. Commerce Secretary said. Raimondo leads President Joe Biden's efforts in addressing the semiconductor shortage plaguing the automobile industry. In June, the House passed its version of the CHIPS Act and is still debating its scope. Raimondo is optimistic that Speaker Nancy Pelosi will definitely support the bill. To boost chip supplies in the third quarter, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, TSMC, has promised to increase the production of microcontrollers to up to 60% this year. For those not in the know, TSMC and Samsung Electronics are major chip manufacturers in the industry. With the Semiconductor Act in place, Biden's team is determined to tackle the challenges caused by the chip shortage and deter similar issues from affecting US-based automakers and other companies in the future. Besides, Raimondo and Biden's administration have compelled governments in Vietnam and Malaysia to consider computer chip manufacturing as a critical business to boost the supply despite the COVID-19 pandemic. In a separate story, Tesla has again adjusted its estimated delivery time of its long-range Model 3 and Model Y and the new Model SX. As per Tesla's online configurator, the delivery timeline for the new Model 3 Standard Range Plus has been pushed back to February-March 2022, whereas the Model 3 Model Y long-range all-wheel drive has a November 2021 delivery timeline. On the other hand, the Model 3 performance still shows an estimated delivery timeline of four to seven weeks. The recent delivery timeline update comes a few weeks after the automaker increased its prices on both the Model S, Model X, and Model 3, Model Y. The rationale behind Tesla's frequent price updates and extending the expected delivery timeline can be found in the strong demand in the United States. At the same time, more expensive versions of the Model 3 still maintain their initial prices and shorter estimated delivery times. It makes sense for Tesla to prioritize the top-of-the-line versions when it comes to new orders. The automaker could be reserving more semiconductors and microchips for those electric vehicles. Meanwhile, the delivery timelines for the base Model 3 in Europe are still in the fall of 2021. According to the company, the Tesla Model 3 vehicles sold in Europe are expected to be exported from Tesla's Gigafactory Shanghai in China. The delivery timelines give a clear indication of how well the facility is keeping pace with the company's demand in China, Europe, and other regions. Tesla is looking to make the Gigafactory Shanghai as its primary export hub, 
The factory recently achieved an annualized EV production rate of over 450,000 Model Y and Model 3 vehicles. Make sure to check out one of the videos shown on your screen right now. We post videos daily, so feel free to subscribe and stay up to date on all most recent news and updates.